So I have just a li little bit of koji rice left. I've put a jam jar full in the fridge, which will keep for a few weeks. I've got a small amount, like a spe spoonful, in a in a sandwich bag, which I've put in the freezer. That will keep for months in case I ever run out and I want to start again. Um, I've got some meat marinades going, so I'm going to try some new meat things. I've got a few other things planned, but I've got this little bit left here. Um, and I'm thinking that maybe we uh, we make a little bit of sake, uh, which does start also with koji rice. Um, so I'm just going to soak, uh, again, some sushi rice overnight. Um, I'll steam it tomorrow. And once, once I've steamed that, I will... Uh, Watching Bella looking out the window. Once I've steamed the rice, uh, we can start uh, thinking about making some sake. So for our next step for our homemade sake, take some regular steamed sushi rice. I've got about 400 grams here. I've got a fermentation bucket and I'm going to just biff that in there. Well, Take my paper making, need that. Not part of making sake. I'm calling it sake because I went to Japan and no one understood what I meant when I said sake, sake. It's like sake, I don't know, but whatever. Sake, starts with rice. We've also got some koji. I've got a little bit of koji. Yeah, which I put in this pot overnight and chilled. Um, so I'm now going to pop that in there because that, that rice is still quite warm. Um, but I mix the cold water with it and that should chill that down nicely. And then... Um, I used um, some old sourdough starter which I boiled up and skimmed off um, to make a bit of yeast, yeast nutrient. Um, because it's going to feed the yeast that we're going to add later to make our sake. There's some koji rice in there, which is going to get our koji process going. And that's going to break down all of the uh, starches in our cooked rice here to make it easier for our, our brewing yeast to break down when we put those in. So my chilled water's gone in. I had a little bit of koji, but I'm just going to like rattle in some more from our pot. That I put in the fridge about half. Huh? Half of that jam jar. I've still got some of this frozen in the freezer if I ever need to uh, pick this up and uh, make more, more more koji rice later. So once our koji rice is in there with our liquid, with our kind of homemade yeast nutrient and our 400 grams of um, steamed sushi rice, this needs to sit at room temperature about 20 degrees for two days to let the koji go to work on the steamed rice we've just put in break it down to those simple starches which are going to be easier for our yeast to start working on uh, for our brewer's yeast um, you want to get like a champagne yeast some sort of strong wine yeast so you can get like a decent strength alcohol and then we're going to bring it down to temperature for about 12 hours so that would be at this time of year you just want to stick this outside maybe in a garage or shed with a lid on and um, get it get it chilled overnight. So after two days at room temperature, the koji rice has been working away on the steamed rice we put in. Um, see all those nice bubbles in there, sort of things fermenting and liquefying and doing what's supposed to. Do. So now we're going to go in with a a strong yeast, um, like champagne yeast, wine yeast. Something's going to tolerate quite high alcohol levels pitch that in and now we want to cool our sake mix um, down to below 10 degrees for at least 12 hours so I'm gonna put this out on the balcony overnight and that should be well below 10 degrees out there once you've completed your 12 hours overnight below or overnight or below 10 degrees um, having added your um, your wine yeast or whichever other strong yeast you've got um, you're then going to need to stir your mix um, twice a day for three days and then every following for three more days you're going to want to stir it once a day. Um, you can either use like a, a clean sterilized spoon or if I'm in my big jug here I just kind of give it a, a, a shake and switch it around a bit and then you're going to want to try and get it back down cool again um, to around 
around 10 degrees for another five, day, five days. So this whole process, once the yeast has gone in, is going to take 11 days. You've got three days of stirring twice a day, three days of stirring once a day, five days resting at a cool temperature. Say uh, we're going to try and keep ours cool outside because um, it's still pretty cool here in the evenings. And um, and then we're, we're ready to move on to the next phase, which is called the maromi, where we start building up um, to have more uh, more liquid, more, more rice, more koji, um, to end up with um, a good quantity of sake. <laughs>